who will become the Senate President, uh, the next Senate President of Nigeria, the Senate President of the 10th Assembly. That is Ide On. And the one person will not come as I say, Luku, Luku, I must become the Senate President of the 10th Assembly. Now, one Senator, where in name now? Senator Oji Ozokalo from Abia North, Abia State. Recently, him been losing wife, a wife been by. Uh -huh. So make I use this opportunity to talk, say, may her soul, her gentle soul, rest in peace. And Ochi Zokalo, please, take heart for your loss. But that will not mean, say, if we see the truth about your political ambition uh, to become Senate President, say, we will not go talk about we go talk up. Fellow Nigerians, I beg, make you help me listen to this uh, or watch this video. You want to watch? Oh, S S Senator, yes. uh, if the Senate President comes, your opponent becomes the Senate President, how would you feel? I would feel terrible. Why? Because I don't believe that he's competent to represent. That's a two-term governor. To, to represent. No, no. What? Represent the Senate. Number two, number two, as he concerns me, he has not won the election. It's not yet. So I wouldn't want a Senate president that will be removed tomorrow. He has so many things, so many baggages with him. He has, uh, um, uh, um, he still um, has a case in court, EFCC case, that is still standing. Don't forget that he was convicted. He went on technical grounds. They so didn't discharge of, him. No, he wasn't discharged. So he came out of, uh, That's what I'm saying. But they said that the case, I'm even using the opportunity to that. I'm, I'm wondering why EFCC is still uh, uh, um, holding back on that uh, prosecution as we speak. That is number one. Number two, like you said, I said, he hasn't, I, I ran an election with him and he's aware that he hasn't really won that election or he didn't win that election well, that, that would be left to the court isn't it that's what i'm saying that i'm from my own past so i'm not caught i'm speaking you yeah. asked me a question so i'm saying from that point and also from the legislative perspective i think that if you really want this position to go to the southeast and you want somebody that will represent nigeria at the world level you need somebody right. with some let, let, high let, level of. Uh, let me let me get your final thought. I mean, Who wanna see for that video? In name na senator Mao Ogu Abongwa. Na him be the senator. Where be they represent Abia North inside Senate before Ochu Zokalo come push him come out. Wait till him talk for that video. Uh, most of go uh, go talk say look those are the words of of a sore loser that he's a sore loser so he's bitter. And now I him talk with him talk. I be a state now my state too. I be a not senatoria now where me I they come from. So the senator representing me now in the senate. Now this Otis Okalo. So I go tell on her the truth. Otis Okalo no get the character and the moral standing to be the next senate president of Nigeria. The 24 years of slavery. where we don't see for that state. 24 years of failed governance. Now him laid the foundation of inside Abia State. Where on a see say Alex Oti win election. Everybody they jubilee say thank God though finally we are free from 24 years of slavery. That slavery eh, where people they jubilate inside Abia State say they don't they free from. Now Ocho Zokalo, now him laid the foundation. Make no also forget say now this same Ocho Zokalo eh, where the high court sentenced to prison. But later on, we wake up, come find us, say, who they send go prison? Don't come outside. <laughs> they say, now based on technicality issues, say, the judge will sentence Ocho Zokalo to prison. Say, you don't get the, uh, the jurisdiction. Meaning, say, when that judge be the handle that case for high court, say, then promote him to appeal court. But him still conclude the case for high court. Sentence Otto Zokalo to prison. Say, look, oh, him na senior judge now. You know, if he conclude that case, who start case finish him? They say, no. He is now a judge of the appeal court and no longer a judge of the high court. So, therefore, he does not have the jurisdiction to complete that case. Now, why they free Otto Zokalo? Say that judge no get the jurisdiction. It means, say, Otto Zokalo no commit the crime where, where, where they send them go prison. That crime will make they send them go prison. It means that you don't commit the crime again just because say, the judge doesn't have the jurisdiction. 
him come outside enter back senate assumed his office again as the chief whip and now he is the same person going to become the senate president of nigeria see make i tell you now if not only Ochoz or Kalu remain inside Igbo land or inside southeast or inside south south you know what i mean or inside the southern region of nigeria i beg make that senior president make not carry him. this is somebody that we cannot vouch for he does not have the integrity in the in the words of uh what's with that name uh, wiki integrity he don't get the integrity he no not get the moral standing say he won't become the senior president of nigeria no he does not have the moral standing if this guy becomes the senior president what 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 are we telling the future generation that anybody can come up from anywhere and become senior president of nigeria it doesn't work that way please audio zokal is not qualified to become the senior president of nigeria what are they hear me all of us know his scorecard you not knowing his scorecard or say you support him now say you they lie to yourself for once tell yourself the truth finally because i know we talk too much today one civil uh, society organization since after the election they don't come outside they talk plenty things they say look look some things must be done right under the enemy they don't visit so many places they don't go uh, national assembly they don't visit uh, u.s embassy they don't go unity fountain i unity square for abuja here they don't talk plenty things say look we must get it right in this election say our election was a sham they are referring to the 2023 election most espe uh, especially the the, the presidential election of 25th uh, february now what did they talk uh -huh. they don't also come outside attack one public figure one public figure where all of them know they say look this guy he is not worth it and it's time to deal with him <laughs> fellow nigerians make gonna help me watch this video wanna watch we are not unaware of the actions of consciousless individuals held bent on imposing a regime of distrust and rancor on Nigeria and to call on them to desist forthwith. We cannot continue to water the lawns of emotional cannibals who raise and rise to power on the blood of ordinary Nigerians. The recent comments by Professor Wale Shoyinka is the most unfortunate and regrettable. While we do not frown at his remarks because of any political party or politicians or movement reference, we do so because of his emotionless detail from the real issues of the elections to pursue what appears as selective witch hunt. It is on record that Professor Wale Shoenka never condemned the shameless episode of ethnic profiling, intimidation, and hate speech by elements such as Musilimu Akinsonya, aka MC Oluomo, Bayo Onuga, FF Kayode, and a host of other atrocious persons. All their actions are not fascist, nor did he condemn Professor. Mahmoud Yakubu's instance of flaunting INEX guidelines, the Electoral Act, and his rush to declare a winner. It is sad that when it matters the most, the voice of our dear prof, whose books and thoughts form the base of academic pursuit by some, should breed reason on the polity. He chose to stand with the oppressor in the burning house enjoying a rat chase. The prof should be a father to all Nigerians irrespective of ethnicity, religion, party, or social affiliation. However, he has betrayed the trust of many Nigerians who before now hold him in high esteem. We therefore call for the boycott of his books. Yes! Articles and events yes. and all public engagements yes. that celebrate his literary achievements, which as of today do not recognize the well being of the ordinary Nigerian. Yes. Yeah. We need role models, not sellouts. Yes. One thing for this country, Nasi, if you are a public figure and you must come out 
to condemn anything where they condemnable. I beg. Condemn it totally. Condemn every condemnable. Don't be selective in your condemnation. Eh? Don't be selective. All of them are not waiting because this thing. When I show you, you come outside. Condemn waiting Senator Babadati Ahmed talk. Senator Babadati Ahmed are the running mates to Peter Obi, the Labour Party presidential, camp, uh, camp, presidential uh, 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 candidate. Senator Babadati Ahmed. Eh, now him be that. When I show you, you come outside attack waiting. That's Senator Babadati Ahmed talk. Babadati Ahmed talk say, make Nigeria not make the mistake of swearing in uh, uh, an unconstitutional government. Government will meet the constitutional requirements uh, 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 of uh, presidential elections. So we could not swear in that government. Babadati Ahmed, they refer to Tinubu. Say Tinubu no meet 25% uh, of the requirements inside FCT to be sworn in as president of Nigeria. Say if we swear in, uh, swear in Tinubu, that will be the end of democracy. Now, Senator Babadati Ahmed talk this thing. Nain Wole Shoyinka, come outside. Because they say, look, oh, that's the way Senator Babadati Ahmed talk. Say, that statement did near to treason. Say, it did near to treason. But now they hear me. Him also forget, say, some people inside this country don't come outside. Talk plenty things. We don't cause kasala. We don't make people carry knife, carry gun, carry stick. They pursue themselves. But now they hear me. Inside that video, the convener will be Dr. Moses Ogidi. Him remind uh, Wole Shonika, say, look, oh, you when they talk all these things now, where you there? Where, where are you? When MC Oluomo come outside, profile a whole ethnic group inside Lagos, uh, they threaten that they do anyhow. Where, where are you? This same Lagos, when you they live inside, oh, now where this thing happen? You don't talk anything. Where we are you? When by your Onanuga, the media personnel, or the personality, or whatever they call him, of the APC Presidential Campaign Council, come outside. Cut the cut chain for people where they live inside Lagos State, precisely the Igbos. Say, look, why can I not try and say on our meadow with our politics? Don't involve with Lagos politics, Yoruba politics. Don't try it too. Where we are you? And that statement alone, it caused problems inside Lagos State. When people can't they do anyhow. Even cause election uh, violence. Where where are you, uh, Professor Wole Shoyinka? Where where are you when FFK and Kiyamo be the talk anyhow? Uh, the inside. Where where are you? You are nowhere to be found. But now to come outside now, come tell us uh, uh, another persistent statement. They near treason. Wole Shoyinka, which camp do you belong? You are supposed to be a role model. Uh. Now you are supposed to look up to see if things go wrong for this country. You go come outside. Come talk and say, look, oh, eh, eh, no be like this, not like this. You are a Nobel Prize laureate. Forget say if you don't do some kind things in the past. Yeah, you carry gun, enter a uh, 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 radio station to go stop. Maybe they don't announce person will win election. Eh, uh, maybe they don't announce. You be do I mean 1965. Eh, uh, we forgive you for that one. You don't win Nobel Prize. You understand? Because they're looking like say this one don't realize the mistakes. So he is someone we can look up to as a role model. Where we are you? When these people were not call out their names, talk every way they talk to incite Nigeria to violence. You know, talk anything. Now, Senator Babadati Ahmed will come and tell and say, make we no uh, uh, swear in an unconstitutional government. Government will not meet with the constitutional requirements. We will not swear and in. Uh -huh. Now you come and say that statement, they near to treason. Last, last, we go find out if 25% is required for a president to be sworn in in uh, Nigeria. 25% inside FCT. Eh, we will go find out whether it is required. The matter is there inside court. And court will decide. And another thing where they for sure. Eh, now see, we have never had a president who will not get 25% inside FCT before. We have never. Our passenger had 25%. Yara Adua had 25%. Gunnar Jonathan had 25%. Buhari said, where they sit down for them, had 25%. Not between the will come. You know, we can't get 25% inside FCT. Where you go become governor of the FCT and the president of Nigeria, you don't get to five percent. You know they possible. So make we see waiting the law court go talk as you take touch this matter. Well, let's show you, you don't collect now. They say make we boycott all materials we consign you. They say make we boycott your books. Make we boycott all events we consign you. Make we look now whether Nigerians go boycott you for life. <laughs> if you are a public figure in this country, 
make sure you are always on the side of the truth. If not, you go collect two by two. Nigerians just they they wait for all of eh, for all of them. They gonna come outside, can't talk rubbish. Now there, when I go collect, uh -huh. fellow country people, I say I don't go talk too much today. I don't end up for today. Now here I go end up. Uh -huh. Even as we uh, anticipate a better Nigeria, just have it in mind that look, a new Nigeria is possible. I go see Ona later. <laughs> I beg, if you like this update, subscribe to my channel. I beg, I beg, Biko, Ejo, Da Allah. <laughs> subscribe.